office or, you know, a mile long room, whatever, uh, that it's inner finer dimensional. So there is a one by one room here. I can sense that. And that room, do the proper, and that'll open up into a two by two, which is dimensionally here. And a three by a four by a five by a six by. Okay. So uh, you can continue with that. Uh, just remember the basics, full, best you can, full feeling of the energy and the character they mix up and your sense of things. The, uh, what, what I was asking for with your sense of things was trying to tap the, uh, uh, the true self. That's where I was heading. Uh, because in finer and finer dimensions, truer self gets to show itself and, and speak of, of itself. Misogi. That's misogi. Um, what else there? And that all the components seem to be in that game. Uh, therefore, you could probably run that game from here to the heavenlies, potentially. Okay, just find your dimension, same game. I think enough on that. Should we look at this over here? Okay. Uh, the I train. Uh, we could add to that the I train to self. Okay. Oh, there he is there, self. So the I train to self. Uh Again, it's not way up there, but that's how we sort of sense things. Uh, everything is here. Don't go anywhere, I'll sense it would say it's all here dimensionally, okay? So that great upper is here dimensionally great upper. Okay? But that's how we would lay it out in the human condition. Okay. I. Ah. Uh, I'll, what, should we need a game here? Uh, let's try this. Katya, can I bore you for a moment? Let's, let's see if I can come back on this one. But, uh, it's a pop, please. Pop, okay. So, a certain amount of physical presence, I. I. That's a station or a location. On the train ride, the I train, it's a station. And from this station, I'm fairly physical, physically present. Uh, I don't think I got ahead of myself much at all. Okay, that's a station. Now, on this journey here, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you to move up and catch your own stations, because uh, it's kind of fun. And I'd like you to recognize where you are in your own system, in your own world. Okay, uh, so for example, so that was a physical present I. Now, if I let it, you're going to get more energy, for example, or I can just call it, let me float up into the second station. It's okay, let it come up into the second station. And at the second station, I noticed I leaned a bit more. I noticed this body, I notice my head turned a little bit. Okay, so that's the second station. There's probably more there, but that's all I notice at that moment. Easy. It's okay. That station, this station, let it float up to the next upper station. Ah, wait. Oh, there it is. There. Physically, it feels like it's around here. That station. And I notice I jarred it out with my eyes. Let me go over that one again. I noticed my eyes went out kind of far. Okay. I saw her sooner or something, but I'm out there. Anything on your side, Patrick, on receiving? You called me a different place. I didn't feel like you called me enough. Okay. So because she's sensitive, uh, she, she experienced I didn't catch her with this body that she got caught with a little more of that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And when I operated from there, she wants to get a little bitchy back at me. I got to file that away. That could be important here. 
Oh, okay, I'm going to play that one more time. Next one. It's okay to come up. Next station. It's on your train track line. Next, yours might be a bit different. It's your train track line. I'm, I'm laying mine out as examples. Yeah, click, click, click. Give me a moment. That station. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it feels like there's a lot of idea about it. I noticed I thrust it outward. I noticed I sort of jumped or started. Uh, there's a bit of <laughs> kind of thing. If I were dumb, I'd say, hey, that feels better because I caught her earlier and I was really there. Okay? But soon, if I follow this trajectory higher to the next station, now I'm starting to get off balance. My feet left, that foot left the ground. Okay. Uh, I feel a little pain in my back. My body's not set right. So this might look the same, but I'm hurting right now. So right about there, I go, whoa, wait, I'm starting to hurt. Or maybe I catch that I'm starting to be off balance. I don't want to go that far anymore. So right about there, I might say, whoa, I'm not going any further. Okay. Some people will say in a conversation, I don't want to go there. If you're just having a conversation about something, something, say, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go that far out, we could say, they're saying. Does that, does that give you a sense? Ah, oh, you, you got the sense standing. Mm -hmm. Make believe there's a partner. You got your invisible partner. Okay. Now, they're not driving on you because I don't have to do receptive because they're so positive. Uh, they're kind of receptive, okay? So, uh, so easy. Let's start at whatever you consider some degree of feeling, certain degree of body, okay? And if you feel sort of comfortable there, we'll say, okay, that's your basic home base, okay? So, basic home base, boom. I feel myself. I feel still pretty centered, stable, not bad, not bad. Okay, so that was basic physical. Easy, it's okay, let's let it ride up to the next station. Easy. I don't know if this is gonna fit in, but I'm noticing I'm, hey, that was pretty good, I did pretty good. I don't know if that's going to fit in here, but that's what I'm feeling. Okay. From this next station, ready? Here they come. Okay. I notice I went out a little further physically. Still feels okay. okay. Body, not bad. Uh, not quite in a back support, but not bad. Okay. Yeah. Easy. So we went from your first basic up one. Come on up to another one. Easy. There's a station along these train tracks. Easy. You're coming up. You're coming up. Already I'm noticing my vision is going out there more. Coming up. Coming up. I'm anticipating. Yeah, I had a little feeling of anticipating my invisible partner. Easy. Easy. Okay, ready from that station, that room, that place, from that place. I noticed I made a little extra face there. There's a little extra energy in the jaw. I can feel it. You could, if you're really looking, see it. I noticed there was a little feeling of getting them. A little feeling of get them. Okay. A little bit of macho. A little bit of what Mary, for those who are here earlier, was talking about. Of seeing the guys trying to uh, up one another. Be the macho man in the dojo. I felt a touch of that. That's interesting. Let's go over. 
either that one again or the next one up easy. They're just stations along the way. And the energies will push you out there if you don't know the discussion. The energies will flow you along there. And and soon, if you're in your station up here, in that room, you got your invisible partner. Uh, funny, I I I like I feel torn. I'm I'm sort of mentally ready for them, but something here is pulling back. That's a weaker body, a more intention but a weaker body. Interesting, it's kind of a break in the system for me. What's yours? Again, from up here, let's do that one again from up here. That's a station. It's in my system. Ah, okay, that station, that station, invisible partner. <clears throat> ah, there goes that foot again. Foot pulled up. This is not as strong as it should be. It's so shaky. The earlier ones had a little more body full. This one is shaky. Uh, I'd like to check my relation with my partner a little bit more, so I'm going to hit that same one again. Easy. That station. In residence. In that station. And from that station. Yeah, I notice a little double click in my system. A little, whatever that is. And you can repeat these and just get the flavor. Let's take a break. You could do that simple thing or make up your own game. Uh, and experience these different locations that I'm calling stations and how they change. <laughs> How do I change from being grounded to suddenly have my foot halfway up? And by the way, those who are students of mine know, I'll be on you all day about that. If your foot comes up, I step on your foot, put it back on the ground. Uh, because I know where you're going. You're going on that trajectory. And in the Aikido Dojo, we don't like for you to go on that trajectory, to go into those stations. But those stations are natural for you. Uh, left to their own device, you'll eventually end up in some station along the way. There are certain ones that are probably kind of basic to everybody, but also there are stations that I may not stop at that are really important to you or ones ones that you really like that room or, or you end up in that room a, a lot. So in our, if we were to map this out, there'd be a variety of rooms uh, because we're individualistic here. Okay, so a room that I might hardly notice might be one of your main ones. That's okay, whatever. I just would like you to have a feeling for your own rooms or stations. Uh, I was uh, mentioning uh, uh, yesterday I was driving with Katya. I drive. She gives directions. Uh, and, but she's Swiss. She gives directions in a squishy kind of uh, a little strange way. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Swiss. Uh, and I found myself go from my norm at that time and click and I was suddenly here. It was, to me, very clear. Oh, I moved up one. Normally, I'd go, oh, okay. And I'd settle open, and I'd go back to my better norm. I would like you to eventually be able to feel anytime you click from one station to another that you catch it so you know where you are on your own journey. The I run to self. Okay? Did I say that well enough? Let me check with my people here. My, my audience, did I say that okay? Yeah? Ah, ah. Okay, let's play another game, just to get you moving a bit here. Chair, on the edge of the chair. Okay, so let's say you're, uh, uh, you're 
good basic body that location, okay? Do a one or two or three to warm, warm up there. Just that, what you consider basic present body. And that's a station. That's a station. Okay. Yes, this, this, this station. Yes. All right. And that grouping, by the way, was a little better than my first norm. Often the first one or so is horrible. Uh, well, a pretty good series, so I'm establishing my a station that I like. Okay, you got the game. Now, let's let it move on up. Okay, we're 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 moving on up to another station. Okay, easy. It's easy. It's natural. Uh, Energy is going to move around and help have that happen. And you move into the next station. Easy. I mean, think about it. Let me think about it. No, feel, feel it. For example, my next station feels, I feel a lot of activity here. So I say my next station is here. Using the body for reference. That station, I'm making sure I'm in that room. And then I'm going to stand here. In that room, that station. Okay. And I stand. In my case, I noticed it was a little hard. I almost fell back a bit. Uh, a lot of work by these muscles. Uh, what muscles? Quads. My quads were pitching a bit. Thank you. You have to gain. Okay, so you had your first fair basic. You float it up. Click. There's that next room or station. It's a little journey. Let's have some fun. Okay, and then we'll move up one more. Easy, it's okay. And it'll move up and stop at a station. If I had to use my body, I'd say this station is around in here. Hang out in the station. As if feeling that station room location. Okay, now from that location, Stand. <laughs> I'm not funny around. I really couldn't. Okay? Now, what I don't want you to do, I want you to play the game. I don't want you to go, okay, I'm up here, but I'm going to grab the body, and then I'm going to stand. You're not operating from that room. You jumped out of that room to this room to use it to be back there to this room. Did you follow what I just said? Did I say that clear enough? No cheating. <laughs> we play the game. Play the game. I thought that wasn't bad. Let's go over that again. Clear the decks. Let's go over it. Easy. From the beginning. Easy. 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 Look, the first starting place where you're sort of comfortable here. Ha! <sighs> Present with the body, however you would uh, describe it. Ah, here, present with the body, and and I stand. Okay, so that's your home base, that room, that station. Ah, okay. Was it smooth? Was it stronger? Or whatever. What was your experience? I, okay. Now. Let it float up a bit. It's okay. Easy. Let it come up a bit to the next station. Doesn't have to be way the hell up there, right? Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, if I had to say physical reference, I'd say around it here. Look. Okay. Also feel a little extra determination from that area. You got your room, you got your station, residing in there, and standing. Okay. I came up, oh, let's see, in my case, I came up, but I noticed an old break here. So it wasn't as smooth as my first one. Just noticed it. I hope you've noticed something. Uh, again, if not, that's when you practice. You go over that same 
from the same station and you do it five times in a row, six times in a row. And so you can really feel, if you're doing it right, you'll feel the same things over and over and over again. But you'll have time to get clear about what it is you're feeling. Okay, so I'm moving a little fast. The damn clock is moving fast also. We okay, we're gonna move up to the next one. Easy, it's okay, it's a fun trip. It flows up to another click. Again, I'm using physical feels up there. Make sure you're there. It's okay to be there. As if that's your power base, that's your home base, that's your room, that's the station you're in. And from that station, standing, okay. And that one I had to cheat because I couldn't stand. And I said, like, oh, I need some help. And then I stood. But what I did was I quickly changed to pick up some juice from the under stations. Okay. Anyway, she hit one where ain't no way you can stand and you know it. Okay. I'll be very clear to you. I don't stand from here. I can think from here. <laughs> I can doodle from here. I can watch TV from here, but I don't damn well stand. Okay, I just want you to recognize your own stations. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't want to be in that station and think I can go and, and go mountain climbing. Not from that station. God, no. So I want you to feel your own stations, recognize your pattern of stations, uh, location, their flavor, maybe a little thought pattern in those different rooms you're going to fine tune this game i'm checking with my audience is that is clear enough that okay ah, okay hmm. so you've got these stations all along the way uh what am i going Another way of playing with it is just playing with your mental sense. Is that the right wording? I've never laid it out quite this way before, so I'm learning how to lay it, lay it out. Uh, let's use thinking as a lineage playing stations. Okay, let's start here again where you're kind of present. Give me a moment. Present. Now, present is a way that I think that in this station, in this room. Uh, I'm not sure. Easy. Something here. Easy. I can think about whatever you want me to think about. I'm a free thinker. Okay. Or something. What's yours? Next trying to use thinking as a lineage game within that game. Okay. So there was that level, that room, that station. Okay, that's easy. Let it float up. It's okay. It's natural. Let it float. Next station for you. Easy. Your station. Easy. Be comfortable in your own station room. Ah. Now we're checking how the eye thinks. Got our lineage here. For me, I want to think soft thoughts. I don't want to focus on anything particularly. That's mine. I don't know. It's like a nice summer day, and I just want to mentally. To take it easy and just enjoy myself. You all got yours? And again, I run through these fast. If it catches your attention, if this is an exciting game for you, play with it. Play with it. Okay, there's one and there's two. That was three. Whatever it was. Next one. Easy. It's okay. Let it move up. It's a natural thing. We're trying to use the I think 
In your room. And my thoughts feel loftier. I don't know what that means, but they're loftier. I recognize the flavor. I've been here before. I recognize it. don't have a good word for silver. In a lighter form of thinking. For me, I don't want to think about anything concrete. Uh, not at this, not at this room, not at this station. Oh, how sweet life could be or something that's mine. Last one. Easy. There are currents of energy which help facilitate this floating up. It's fun, it's easy. Let's move on. Huh? Going into an even higher, higher room, station, location. And, and, and in that room, what kind of thinking goes on there? For me, I'm thinking, in other words, grandeur. I'm thinking, how nice it would be to be vacationing in Europe. Uh, I can see myself in, I don't know, uh, Monaco, on the beach or something. I could see myself having more money and whatever, whatever guys like me would do with money. Things are kind of bright. It'd be hard to have a, a nightmare here if it's too bright and light. That's mine. Whew. Take a break. Did you play with that? Did you get a sense of that? Does that pattern work? Whew. 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 Okay, here's the map on an I train run. Now, if we change the focus, what do I want here now? Uh, say you want to be more spiritual. Okay, so you move up through a couple of these. Okay, then you'll begin to hit uh, a finer dimension. That's still a room, but it's very, it will appear bigger than hell. A finer dimension. And as the eye flavors, hangs out, blends with that finer, what will begin to happen eventually is a truer self will be there. So I and self are same. Okay? Just in tight, it's an I. In finer, finer, finer starts to become a self. So as you're into this upper dimensional finer, that's what I hear most people say when they're talking about meditation, that they're doing some form of that. What did I miss here? And then in this finer dimension, uh, there'll be, I don't know if you're sensitive to vibrations, it'll vibrate finer. If you're a sound listener, you'll hear a different sound. Uh, if you hear words, uh, it'll be, Words according to this dimension here. Uh, I'll try an example on words. Oh, I'm asking my system to give me some words at that level. Oh, it's so peaceful and a sense of beauty. So that's where I am. I'm in that room. Okay. What? A little side here, but careful. It's not, I'm beautiful. I'm in a room of beauty. I'm I or I'm self. I happen to be in that room. I can flavor it, but I don't lock it in a certain way. I don't know if I'm saying this well. Maybe a discussion for another day. Anyway, so you go finer dimension and finer dimension and finer dimension. Okay. Finer level of self, finer level, more original sense of self, pure sense of the original pure self. Uh, that's all available, okay? That's up here. Now, 
We should do an aside here, though. For some people coming up on an I run, they might drift a bit. Okay, so get them drifting. I almost wanted the picture to be done with a drift off here, but you get the same tone over a little bit of a drift off. A drift off, where's my notes? A drift off, I forgot the words. Okay, you all know people. They're starting to talk a bit from up here. They're starting to talk, and it's a, a little, huh? And it catches your attention, huh? But you don't say anything to them, but you notice it. Now they continue, click, click, and they're and they're starting to talk that day. But it's it's obviously off the wall. It's obviously. Outlandish, it's obviously delusional. So they traveled up and shifted a bit, got into delusions. Uh, it could even be, it could even have a messiah complex. Okay. Uh, so some of the cases I've seen in. Uh, Somebody didn't read this? Was it somebody I met? Oh, yeah, somebody I met or heard about. Uh, and and he was in this more delusional place where he knew he had the power to make the jet engine, the jets flying overhead, stop making noise. Well, I'm sure it's feasible someplace, but he was delusional. Ain't no way he was going to get the jets to stop making noise, okay? So that kind of thing. Uh, another one was the fellow, I may have mentioned this story before in a different context, who said, oh, there's enough for everybody, some kind of, uh, it's all wealth is kind of free or available. Uh, nice idea, potentially, if you're doing things right, potentially could do something with that. But he's getting delusional. So he gives his credit card to anybody who asks for it. At the time, he was living in a community of people. And they, of course, used his credit card. And I think he didn't snap too back to reality until he saw the bill. <laughs> right? right idea, wrong thing to do. So he got carried away. Okay? Uh, so you, 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 you get a sense. So uh, it's not unusual to see people who are on a spiritual path go a little strange. So, you know, they triggered off into something. Except for being, 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 instead of doing it properly. We'll find you on that another day if you want. Now, so, you can get into your more original, pure self that will be in a more original, pure dimensional realm okay you'll understand the universe uh, uh, finer and finer and finer uh, you'll have a, a sense of experience but this realm tends to be a little more mental in the sense of aware of How to say it? If Osante was well aware of this realm and to teach people how to get to that realm, he told me, he said, I could have taught that. One, there were plenty of other teachers around teaching that format. It's sort of a basic meditation style. He said, but there are some uh, traps. When you get into finer dimensional, uh, you can get trapped because the, the dimensions are finer and finer and finer and finer and finer. And, you know, they're beautiful and this and that and this and that. Uh, you can get caught there and forget you're moving. You're on a mission moving to the origin. There we go. Moving to the heavenlies. They think one of those finer states is heaven, heavenlies. Uh, they tend to 
call anything they see God. Oh, it's brighter, it must be God. Oh, it's bigger, it must be God. Uh, careful. Anyway, so since I was well aware, but he said there's some traps in there. And when you do that one, uh, fuller and fuller, it also has a partner. So if you want to call it mind, we could say, okay, that's mind with a minor inexperience, a minor inexperience. So you can sort of feel things, but you're still more aware than more fully being them potentially, okay? So majors in awareness or mind. Its partner majors in feeling. It's minor, uh, an intelligence about itself or an awareness about itself. You major in here and you're calling up this big partner because you're big. Here. It has a big partner now. It's going to start to show. And if you don't know what that is, and you're here, 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 suddenly this thing bumps you, it could be kind of scary. could look all dark. And you're wondering, I'm, I meditate, I get into this beautiful place, and then a moment later, ah, all this dark is coming at me. It's not dark, it's the partner. But because you haven't played with it, acknowledged it, learned how, how it shows itself, get to the truth of itself, uh, uh, so that could be a problem. So anyway, uh, Osente said. Now, uh, Osente's preference was to go this way. Now we're going to change. Are we okay on that side? Cover that sort of? Not bad for my first layout that way. Okay. There it is. Ta-da. Okay, now what do we have here? Okay. So remember that norm. This is ground. So person who's grounded and present, whatever. We were referring to that on the other page as start sort of present. Okay. So here we are. Now uh stations. There are Stations on the down also, okay? Uh, when you have a fairly full body, when you have a fairly full body, huh, when you have a fairly full body, oh, let me aside for a moment following this. Uh, uh, oh, Uh, Yoshika, you saw there someplace, Yoshika, using Yoshika for an example, she, I uh, read something she wrote about her walking experience, I thought, ooh, well said, well written, uh, walking, and she'd find a location, there'd be a location that she could walk from, and it's pretty good, uh, figuring the next day soon, and that location was still there, but that day, another location came in and came in and supported that. Third day, her first and second experiences are still active, you know, and the next one came in. Uh, so aware, it looked like she was uh, uh, pretty full body. Very good approach. Do something to give you feedback experiential on full body. Now, the, uh, and and Yoshika said, oh, and he reminded me uh, something like, uh, oh, that there's more. It doesn't stop at a good full body walk or a full body stride. The next dimensions start to show. So especially if you're opening there, you're full bodied and you easy, open, whatever your trick word is for dimensions to open, uh, then the next level of walker it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know, maybe, maybe you'll sense that there's a wind current pushing the body. Okay. Uh, maybe you'll notice there is a, 
uh, uh, mine the other day funning around, I uh, just double check yours, uh, was uh, an electrical field and the body had these electrical points. So when the body acknowledged, when the electrical body acknowledged the electrical field, there was a boom. Body could suddenly walk better because it was charged a certain way. And, and that pattern continued for my whole 20 minute walk, whatever it is. Uh, so you get into another dimension. After a while, some of the things are not as concrete as that. You're, you sense them, but they should be concrete in your sensing. Sometimes people misunderstand and think, oh, I'm making that up. Uh, so they're afraid to play in here because they don't can't tell the difference between a fantasy and this reality of a dimensional truth. Okay, so there are flows in this dimension. Next, there might be electrical kind of flavor in that dimension or something. There there'll be something. Uh, and again, you all have your own styles here. All I'm saying is there is dimensionally more if body is your lineage that time. There'll be something more in there that facilitates the body. Okay. Uh, other ones I had when I was checking. Uh, there was a floor underneath the sidewalk uh, that I could step on and it would like support me and give me a little bounce. It wasn't the sidewalk. I'm already going dimensional here. So at first, when you go from body dimension, and as soon as you have a fairly full body, boom, it's starting to open up. And the next dimension is starting to show. I would say at first, the next dimension shows, but also like through the body. Okay. But eventually, as we continue forward, there'll be a dimension where it won't quite be body. It'll be, I don't know, something etheric flying down the street or something. Okay. So uh, don't stop just because you've ran out of body parts. That's when you should go dimensional, okay? And you experience the dimensional, you, you let it activate. If I don't have at, at least those first parts of a dimensional, I probably... Uh, would get off the mat and go get coffee because <laughs> I'm not going to function at my best now because I'm losing some of my physical. I need this to do the job. Okay, through the physical. Uh, did I say any of that right? Okay. Where are we? Okay, so so this same eye track. I'm here. I'm settling down. Okay. Uh, let's say you're fairly full bodied uh, using the sitting uh, feet on the ground as a reference. Okay, where am I going? Easy. I. I settle down. I open up a bit. Facilitate. Easy. Clear. Calm. Whatever. Now, sort of past the body, how do, how do I sense, know that? Because I'm feeling a supported floor past this rugged floor. Boom. Something deeper and stronger that's a floor for me right now. Okay. So what was my trick? Make sure you're here pretty fully physically. Don't have to be perfect, but you can't be half ass. Okay. Yeah, uh, Brad, what's what's your body level? You continue to open easy the eye here and and we're in the beginnings of another dimension. Okay, what's your sense? It's just really coming up from within, lifting me up. Okay, something from within yeah. flowing through. Um, again, it's not an idea. It's a sense of experience, 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 
See, I know something happened. I can feel. I lit up a bit. I can feel. I can feel this aura around me. Ooh. I would be surprised if somebody did it else didn't notice it. <laughs> I'd be how, like, how dumb they are. Can't they feel it? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, continuing down through dimensions, they're following the eye line. This will also get to a self. Oh, since they thought by doing that format of using body and deeper, don't forget the roots, trying to get them deeper, uh, that uh, in better dimensions of deeper, this the uh, core self, true self, uh, would show better. Misoki would show better. Self would show better. Uh, that there'd probably be less confusion. The upper one uh, would get quite likely often lost in the fineness of the realm it's in okay. and not move along. Uh, who was it? Yogeshwar in the Yogananda line? Uh, died, came back, talked to uh, Yogananda, and y Yogananda said, Hey, how you doing? And Sri Yogeshwar said, Well, I'm up here in this higher plane, I forget what, whatever, higher plane, trying to help beings move along. He said, It's a bitch. Because it was so a finer plane. And they were so, Oh, yeah that they forgot the mission. The mission is to go back home, to be your original self, not along the way, space out, uh, we call it hammock space, the hammock space. Uh, so where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, oh, that this form of down and then uh, the truer self will show a bit clearer and and be better. Following O Sensei, he said, then as you get the fullness of this, uh, this upper half will click in very nicely with no fear or confusion. Right? So I played it uh mold around there. And so I, I call that the bottle. If you get a good bottle, the cap just comes in and fits in perfectly. Whereas if you do it the other way around, you may not recognize this mass coming at you. Okay. You have no sense of it. Uh, so there's a, a problem with just awareness of, uh, anything from the, uh, from the other, from the partner could look like a monster, full, full bore monster. What a shame. It's the same creation. It just happened to split into two parts. How can you call one part beautiful and the other part? Ah! Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. And then people make up stories. Uh, that's evil. This is whatever. What did Christians say there? They have some statements where they say, that's bad. This is good. Oh, dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, you've got to get more fully, properly balanced. That's why it's called mind, body, harmony. They don't mean body. They mean the entirety of the universe. We use the word body as bad word now. We feel a body, body, body. No, dimensional stuff that makes up the stuff of things. Okay? All right? So, ah. Uh, oh, we got a minute. So, in my case, I mentioned the people, uh, I was a good, a natural, okay, uh, so I did the normal Western male uh, meditation style. Uh, one thing I was fortunate, I was always, body was always important to me. So even though I was going up into finer, it's in one way never lost touch with the body. Uh, and I'm very good. I was very good with that, if I do say so myself. Got in some beautiful spaces. And I reached a very high point where suddenly it was like, eh, 
And I said, is this it? I mean, all these dimensions were beautiful and angelic choirs and on and on. It was great. Uh, I could really experience it. It was great. Uh, then it said, I heard, go down. Go down. What the hell is go down? And that's when I begin, but I take orders. So that's when I begin to play this under half part. I got orders from the universe that go down. So then I created all kinds of games to go down. So I, whatever, da, da, da. Uh, so, oh, sensei would preference that you uh, use a down system. When, when the teachers, when we, these are the top teachers, uh, at the time, top, 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 the names that you know. Um, and if they knew O Sensei was around, they would immediately drop into Swati Waza. Because O Sensei wouldn't bitch if you were on your knees doing a technique. Okay. So whenever O Sensei was around, the teacher, oh, Swati Waza. Because <laughs> if they're doing standing techniques, he'd bitch. It's what he was that he wouldn't bitch. Where was he going with that? You think, oh, you should have good knees? Is that where old sensei's going? No. He was trying to get them lower to the ground where hopefully things would open up deeper into finer dimensions. Okay? Uh, now we get people training. And yeah, they're pretty good at a certain level and they can move around good and do a couple techniques, great. Right? Uh, but do they continue down into dimensionality? I'm sorry, you don't. It would be nice if you would, but I'm asking too much. Sorry, I take it all back. Ah. So the, uh, this is the upper. And I'd like to have all of that on one sheet. And this is the under. It's still an I run, I settle, I this, I that. Uh, but it moves into self, same way the upper one moved into self and a finer self and even purer than fine self and on and on. Uh, this does the same thing down here. Okay? Whew. We can take questions. Can we take questions? We got a few minutes? Sure. And one more okay. come in with uh, audio questions. I got to catch my breath here. Any questions? <laughs> Nothing? Sensei, this is Lauren. I would like to ask a personal question, if I might. Yep. So you just talked, just, uh, just when you were talking there, you, you, you said something about the experience of running out of body pain. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Running past right. them, out of them, yeah. Right. So, for for years and years, we do extension exercise. You know, raising the hand, uh -huh. and I always, uh, you know, before I become more dimensionalized, I always have a sense of I don't have long enough hands. You know, and then yeah. I want to extend yeah. further and further, and there's this sense of yeah, running you're out trying to do, more. trying to do extrinsic, yeah. Right. But instead, hopefully you what? Well, you talked tonight about it's really extension, this energy flow out of the arm from the center and down from the center into the yeah. earth. All right. Now stop it with the details. You're just in another dimension. Let's keep it simple. You're in another dimension. And from that dimension, it does that. That's what happens. And so that's my question. Thank you. Yeah. Let's save yourself. Uh, an extra thing. Uh, oh, I know it does that and that happens. I know that. You see? And there's where the intellectual room will kick in. i got to mention that. There's where the intellectual room will kick in. But you won't, this won't last. <laughs> you have one or two and then soon it's going to not work. And you won't understand why it's not working because I really had it intellectually. But let me, is that, is that okay? 
Yes. I didn't put you down, did I? I'm trying to help out here. Not more than normal. Okay. Uh, let's. Where? Where am I? Oh yeah, this guy. Okay. Now in Aikido, in Aikido, uh, it's a piece I want to bring up. It's kind of important. Now when we try to get this guy to settle down into deeper Aikido guy, okay? Our problems come in with in what room people are existing. So one of those rooms is, oh, I see, I understand. That's a uh, that's a a room. That's a uh, station, and that's when it's comfortable for them. They like to see and understand. So whatever you show them a technique, whatever. Uh, and oh, I see, I understand. Now ask them to do it, and they can't. But teachers, you've all heard those words through the years, all the time, right? Oh, I understand. And you go, yeah, okay. Now, if they're smart, they understand and know the second part, which is to open to some activating energy so it, they're doing, functioning the understanding, but they don't, they stay in, oh, I understand, right? Teachers, they drive us crazy, right? Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, then, uh, maybe more advanced uh, with these stations, there's an intellectual room. Uh, must be a bitchy one because you're superior in an int For those people that are intellectual room, have that station well developed. Yes. Yes, you're smarter. You're an intellectual. You understand? Why did you come to Aikido, I would ask these people. Meaning there was an original urge, which most everybody forgets the original urge through the Aikido. Uh, I'll answer for myself. I came to, okay, I came to, okay, Aikido. Go ahead. I came to Aikido because I was thirsty for something and I didn't know its name. Okay. Uh, that was good. Thirsty for something. The intellectual was thirsty for something. I'm missing something. Okay. Now, the troubles that happen is the intellectual comes into the dojo and intellectualizes all the processes that are trying to get them into an experience of water. You were thirsty, right? Okay. An experience of this realm of water. Okay. So, uh, so, to, so for teachers, uh, we're trying to get people in their upper station rooms to settle down a bit. And then unfortunately, the tendency is if there's a little bump or something to go back to their room that they're used to, or always trying to figure out from their room something that has a different room. Yeah. I could say this better, I think, one day, but you, you get the sense, uh, for me, it must be for other teachers, if I see somebody walk in who's already in a settled room, sort of present, and I catch that that's their, that's their, that's their basic, I give a sigh of relief. I go, thank you, God. Because I don't have to get somebody who has a different room, and I got to get them from this room down into this direction of of it. So I think all teachers that have seen somebody walk in the dojo say, "Oh my God, thank God!" They're just sort of there. Yeah. Hopefully they won't lose there as they train, but it could happen, I guess. But normally they they, they hold or they should hold. Oh, did I touch a night clear enough? Thank you, Lauren. Um, and say, I just want to say in closing that I stayed with Aikido after that first thirst because it, I, because it was something that I could dive into and try to master, even if I couldn't understand it. It, it wasn't yeah. understandable. Well, good, good. Sure. We don't want you to understand it. We don't want the intellectual to understand it. After its experience, it will be known. So, yes, yes. yes. don't understand it. <laughs> Sounds well, contrary, doesn't it? But if it's contrary, it's probably correct. 
constantly with it. Uh, don't understand it. Experience it. It'll be known after the experience. That's why I since I said I didn't study Shinto. I experienced it. And as I experienced it, I understand understood the fuller depths of it. So he's a more of an expert on Shinto than than the uh, the university professors who are teachers of that. You know, I experienced it. And then things were known. Okay? A lot of people think, no, I, I have to... Uh, uh, see, they're in a certain room where I have to understand. So they're in that room. That tends to be their norm. Uh, tell me how it works, because I, I have to understand it. Instead of, no, experience it, then knowing is there uh, but to know that these rooms exist you all have your favorite that's why i want you on your own time to play with your rooms it's fun play 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 with them uh sit in one and figure it out um but then in, uh, again back to aikido uh that's our our work is to try to get you uh to not use those rooms when we're trying to introduce a whole different set of, of rooms. Still on the eye run, uh, but something like, like that. Okay, we're going to take a break. Yeah, for less than five, four minutes. Okay, hello out there. Okay, four minute break. Oh, four minute break, then any questions, I'll try. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Chat's been pretty busy tonight. And uh, if you've got any last questions, you want to edit the questions that you probably posted, uh, you know, feel free.
and we're coming back from break. Okay. You ready for yeah. questions? Sure. Okay. It was a pretty busy chat. Um, <laughs> I did. I'm going to start with the stations. Stations. From the, okay. That you started with? Um, yeah. So are the stations how the eye moves along? How they move along. They move, the eye is a free agent. Thank you. The eye is a free agent. Because it's part of an original self, a uh, part of an really original. It's a free agent. It's always itself. Now, here we get condensed in and no, this it's a free agent. It it uses the stations to catch a, a character, uh, but it it doesn't in a certain way need well. It needs the stations in the sense of until it catches on to the vastness of true self, uh, it needs a reference. So stations are a reference. Could you say it that way? Is that okay? Absolutely. So, um, and uh, I think that was Diana. We may go back to her if she um, has a follow up. Um, so, a couple of comments that um, people could feel when the stations clicked in. They really got a feeling for good. when the stations changed. Good, good. You people are doing good. Yeah. Maybe After a while, they're each one clear and distinct. And as you play with them, click, oh yeah, I know that. I've, I've been here. I can re-experience this. Great, great. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> Uh, to clarify, uh, are you in the, you know, the way you laid out the practice, do you specifically recommend experiencing the fullness of the lower before playing around with going into the upper or higher? I'm presenting Osensei's format, as he told me, yeah. Okay. Uh, that, it, well, if you want to play up there to get a flavor for it, that would be okay. But I was trying to say, for real work, let's do it this way. But if you want to uh, spend some time with it, even in the meditation form, uh, so you can get some feedback on what I said, you know, finer uh, meditative dimension and, and the vibe of it, the flavor of it, uh, whoever, whatever. Uh, sure, it's, it's good to, to know it's there that way. But if you really want to follow O Sensei, it's this way. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, the relationship, uh, several questions about the relationship between the lower dimension and the upper. And I, I've got a few parts. Let me know when you want me to stop. Um, so is it uh, fire and water, earth and uh, air? Uh, 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 uh. I'm not sure if I want to go that track. Um, uh, not that way. That way. I use O oh, Sensei and me use fire water a different way. Uh, I don't want to go into that. It's a uh, let's keep it simple. It's a it's a level, and from that level, certain things are there. Uh, let's keep it simple. Let's not go into too much fire water something different earth there's something different let's let's not use that right now okay okay good feedback yeah um uh, another one on the clicking so uh using the bottle and cap example for reaching <laughs> levels of ground or levels of eye does that work um okay. do the partners come together equally or oh yeah of course they will if you don't interfere, that's built into them. That's uh, Mary, what's that called again? Is Mary on? I probably muted her, but. Musubi. Musubi, ne? Yes, Musubi. Mary said she had to leave. Okay. Musubi, uh, this relationship, uh, 
anytime there's a partnering or, or a, a, a blending, that's musubi. So they're the, the, in the big stage of the game, they're a hell of a musubi. They just whomp. <laughs> they're attracted to each other. They whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, as long as you don't interfere and screw them up. Easy the eye. So that the naturalness of musubi, the he and the she, if you want, the fire and the water, if you want, can mix with each other. Yang, yang, whatever you want to call twosies. Okay? And then finer dimensions, finer dimensions, the twosies are finer dimensions. But they're still attracted to each other. They want to hang out with each other. They want to breed. They want to mix. They want to create. And they'll create a better sense of character here. That's their job also in the level we're at in the universe. Did I say that okay? Sounds good. Okay. Um, so this one from Florida. Uh, can you comment on the aspect of allowing while training the sentiment or intention of allowing or inviting? So the question is, is there a method? Kenny, could you say it that again? So oh, I didn't quite catch. Um, yeah, I actually, uh, uh, Justin, you, you want to come in on this? We've tried to clarify this question, but it was hard. Um, yes, um, Sensei. So, no. Just so. while training. The, to allow the fullness of experience while you're training. Can you comment on the, the sentiment of allowing or inviting? Okay, 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 wait, wait. First, uh, you just train and open and train and open dimensionally, train and open dimensionally. There'll be a level there that's more inviting. And it'll be easier for your body to move in an inviting way. Uh, so that will happen in the dimensions uh, naturally at a certain level. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, if you wanted to major in that, you could start with the first heavy set of inviting. Okay, I invite him. I wave him in, whatever. Easy, settle, open, next level. Well, I... I, I I, I, I give him some body language. I invite him in. I, I go like this and he, okay, that level. Easy. Next level. Finer. Lineage is inviting. Easy. Now it's changed a bit. There feels to be an air of inviting. It's not just a body part thing. It's a, it's a feeling of, hey, come on. You're not saying it, but your energies are, hey. In my young days, I might have done that with a lady to a place where it's like, hey, come see me, buy a drink or something. It's, it's, it's an air, it's a, something finer than, mm. uh, so it's a dimensional thing. Basic, you know that, basic. Thank you, son. That's exactly what I was looking for, especially connecting it as you did to lineage and process. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah. All the answers are there. You just ask, be open, and in the dimension that's active on that lineage, it will in some form describe itself at that lineage. So I'm at a certain lineage and my shoulder moves back. Oh, okay, that lineage is body inviting, body inviting. Um, it teaches me. Sensei, what's the next better level of inviting? I don't know. Give me a moment. Ding, click. Ah, it's like you're inhaling them. Whatever move you're inhaling them. I like that. I never said that before. You're inhaling the attacker. You're inhaling him. Where'd that come from? Came from the finer dimension expressing itself as a lineage of inviting. That's where I come from. <laughs> That's how I know what I know. You can do that. I know you can. Do it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Help somebody. Okay. Um, 
Lauren, do you want to present yours? It's the last one. Sensei, went in, in tonight's uh, class, you mentioned ever so briefly that O Sensei would somehow talk or reference Suwadiwaza as a way to lower the self or to work on the energies, the lower energies that you were talking about just Well, now. we have to be smart. We can't say he was teaching us to do that so we could have stronger hits. No, I, I understand. I, See, that's the dumb level. So what or why was he do why was he emphasizing that? Is so I, I my question is could you please talk more about that? Uh, just what I said. I was trying to set people up to open up for the under dimensions. Go for the roots, go for the depth. And in that dimensional depth, there's a, a great character. Uh, 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 the self gets clearer and clearer and clearer and can speak or be present with itself. Self is there. So it's a misogi. Uh, he was trying to point out a direction. Yeah. But now how many people in Aikido have dimensionally doing Swaniwaza gone deeper than a fairly, than a good presence on the floor? Uh, unfortunately, I think I never heard anything about anybody doing that. They were good on the floor. Uh, maybe somebody was better and talked about the, the floor supporting them or or you just have an image of a slippery floor that makes it easier to move around. Okay, fine. Next, next, next. That's what I never heard from the troops. Is that, is that, did I say that right, Lauren? Thank you, Sensei. Yeah, best I can do. Is that the last one? Um, so there's, uh, one last question came in. Um, yeah. So uh, if the real stuff comes from under. Um, stuff comes from, I'm not real stuff, stuff comes from under. Okay, well, yeah. 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 All right, that's us. Oh, okay. If stuff comes from under, then as you get finer dimensionally deeper, you'll catch that the stuff is finer, better, whatever, whatever. Uh, you're doing a dimensional there. Remember, in the heavy dimension, energies are heavier. Finer dimensions, they don't, they're not that heavy. They're alive, but it's getting finer and finer and finer. Eventually, it's like, for lack of word, all the energies are pure. Whatever you want to make of that word, make up your own word. But finer than finer than fine in their own dimensional level, they are. We're here in the heavy, trying to be finer. I say, that's damn hard. You're a heavy, how can you be finer? Okay, mm -hmm. so I go, I'm a heavy. I, I think I don't want to be heavy, easy. I settle and I open a bit and I'm not quite as heavy. I'm still heavy, I can feel some weight on the back of my shoulders, but not quite as heavy, okay. Easy. Again, I move fast. Settle and I open and the next dimension. Oh, oh. Whew, I can breathe better. So apparently there was some weight on the heav heavier guy that I don't have here. I can feel my rib cage expanding. I'm in a different dimension. Ah. I feel lighter. I'm not ready for the ballet class, but I could mow on it, maybe, but not, not today. But the possibility, well, not quite yet, but maybe. Let's keep hanging out here. We'll see. Okay. Dimensional, dimensional, dimensional. Finer, finer, finer. So uh, a couple of questions related to this. Um, you And so I'm going to ask you, uh, you've usually talked about uh, under being uh, the subconscious, the less apparent. Uh, I don't use those that, words, I don't think, because I'm not sure how people use them, but go, go, go ahead. Well, so, so there's a question uh, about, about going down versus up. Um, yeah. What's the difference between down versus up? And 
if both sensei said go down first, what's down that's yeah. not up? I, I thought I said it pretty clearly. You want to touch a finer self, you can do the basic Western uh, finer and finer and finer into finer dimensions and you begin to realize you're finer. You're not a heavy body anymore. You're a, a sort of a free agent in this finer and finer. And that's basic meditation. Okay? And you're looking for God. Fine. But a sense is that there's going to be some problems there because you've done this which represents half the universe, except those words are perfect, half the universe, and you're not going, you're going to be shocked by the other half. And also in there, uh, you're going to get caught up quite possibly in a level track where it's damn beautiful. And you're, you're there, you're meditating, and it's beautiful, and you're sense feeling it, and it's beautiful, and you won't let go of it. That's what I tried to tell you. This is about what Yukteswar said, who was in the upper regions as a teacher, saying, oh, my God, it's hard to get these guys to move because they were in a finer and they were, I call it hammocky. Okay. They won the lottery. They're in Bermuda. They're on their hammock and they got a daiquiri in their hand. Leave me alone, man. They won't move. That's it. They've reached it. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know how much more I can say here. Okay. So there are some dangers in the upper or tracks that don't exist in the under. And if you get the under pretty full, the, the other half just naturally clicks in and all that will be yours too. Mind, body, harmony. It'll be there. But to go for mind first can create some problems. And that's I why think, Osensei didn't teach that style of meditation. He said, I could. If I had, I would have been more famous. More people would have known about me. But I'd be doing what these other guys are doing. And I was questioning that in the first place. I decided to. I felt this was better. That, and that sounds, yeah, sounds very clear. I believe them. And I felt it because that's what happened to me. I went up and they said, no, nah, don't. Go down. <laughs> So I'm beginning to get a better feeling for why he would say that. I haven't shown it yet. A little more practice, a little more time, but it's there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fini? Finito? That's it. We're a wrap. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm proud of the students who are experiencing. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Take care. Thank you so much.